The question is how many proton, neutron, and electrons are there in chloride ion, which is 37. So using a periodic table, you'll find the proton number for chlorine, it is 17. So there should be 17 protons. Either it can be A, B, or C. Then to get the number of the neutron, what we do, we take a difference. So it will be 37 minus uh, 17, which is 20. So there should be 20. So option A, B, C all have the same number of protons. But, but what about electron? It's a negative charge ion. Negative charge ion means it has more electrons than protons. So number of the electrons should be more than number of protons. So this B can be, why? Because B is for a neutral atom. This is for positive ion. This one is a negative one. That's why C is the right answer. So if you want to work out the average mass of the isotope, it's a percentage abundance multiplied by the mass. So we have 68.077 multiplied by its mass, which is 58. Then we have 60 into its 26.223, then it will be 61 times 1.140, then it is 62 times 3.634, then it is 64 times 0 0.926. And what we'll do, we'll, after solving, we'll sum, and after addition, what we do, we'll divide by 100. Like, for each one, we will multiply like the uh, percentage of the isotope multiplied by its mass plus the percentage into of isotope, second isotope into mass, and so on till we have the five isotopes here in this example. We all add all of them after solving and then divide it by 100. So three decimal places. Look, as I mentioned, three decimal places. So B and C cannot be an answer at all. Why? Because it's one decimal place. So either A can be an answer or D. When we simplify, it will be A. So we want to work out, like as chlorine is having two isotopes, stable isotope, one is chlorine 35, another one is chlorine 37. And the ratio of the isotopes of the mass, the, like the amount, which is not ratio of the mass, ratio uh, percentage abundance or the ratio of their abundance three to one. I mean, like if, I, if we contain 75% of chlorine 35, then chlorine 25% uh, will be chlorine 37. So the ratio is 3 is to 1. So we want to draw expected for chlorine molecule. First for chlorine molecule, how many peaks will be there? If we have a chlorine molecule, maybe possibility both of them are 35. So if both of them are 35, then we'll get a peak at 70. If one of the one is 35, another one is 37. So we'll get a peak at 72. And if both of them are 37, we'll get a peak at 74. So, so we'll get one peak at 70, one peak at 72, another peak at 74. But what about the percentages? As I mentioned, the ratio between them is 9, 6, and 1. Like if this is 9 times, this will be 6, this will be 1 time. Or if you want to convert it to 100%, so it will be simply 9 divided by, like, because total 100 is there. So how I can work out if I want the percentage of this one, the chlorine 70, so it will be 9 divided by the sum 9 plus 6 15 plus uh, 9 plus 6 15 plus 6 15 plus 1 16 so 9 divided by 16 into 100 this will give us the percentage of chlorine 35 if i need the percentage of chlorine uh, like it will give the percentage of chlorine molecule at a peak of 70 then for 72 it will be 6 divided by 16 into 100 and for this one it will be 1 divided by 16 into 100 so 9 divided by 16 into 100, what's the answer? Nine divided by 16 into 100. Fifty-six.
then 37. and 6.2. So we'll draw the peaks accordingly. So one is 56. Another one is 37. And the other one is 6 only. So these are the heights of these peaks. I can double that also, won't make difference. You don't have to memorize nine, six, and one. This you can work out. Like this is a simple mathematical ratio is there. Even you memorize that's also fine, but you can also work out the percentages. Uh, like you can also work out the ratio of the molecules. Then in the second part, suggest why there could be a small peak at 36. So what might be a reason for that? Like we might have a chlorine because th these are mass to charge ratio. So one, mass of one molecule is 72 and charge is plus one. But what might happen, this is for chlorine with a charge plus one. But what might happen if two electrons are knocked out? So ma mass to charge ratio, what it will be 72 divided by two. So we'll get a peak at 36. So why there will be a peak at 36? What is the reason for that? That the reason is maybe two of the electrons removed from the chlorine. That's why it will have a charge of two plus and a molecular ion of 72, then it will give us 36. So we might have a chlorine molecule with a molecular mass of 72 but it will have a charge of plus two that will leads to the mass to charge ratio, which is 72 divided by plus two equals to 36.